I used to be a teenager a while back and I totally understand what it's like to be frustrated with not being able to lose weight and not feeling great and amazing in your own skin. That's why in this video I'm going to share with you my best tips and strategies on how to do exactly that. But of course, first order of business, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. Hi, I'm Lisa and I'm the founder of Better Slimmer You, a place where we talk all things health and fitness and of course, make sure to subscribe if you're new. I would love to welcome you to the Foxy family. So as a teen, what you need to focus on first and foremost is being healthy because you are still growing and a lot of the things can change down the line. Being healthy is really about being at a weight that is right for you. And the best way to find out if you are at a healthy weight or if you need to lose or gain weight is to talk to a doctor or dietitian who can compare your weight to healthy norms in order for you to set realistic goals. If it turns out that you can benefit from weight loss, then you can follow a few simple suggestions that I'm going to share with you in this video to get started. Weight management is really all about long-term success. And people who lose a lot of weight quickly by crash dieting or some other extreme measures usually get it all back and more because they didn't develop healthy habits that they can stick with. The best weight management strategies are the ones that you can maintain for a lifetime. That's why I'm going to try to keep my suggestions as easy as possible for you. The first tip that I have for you is... No, not to drink tea, although it is a really good habit to have because tea is super rich in antioxidants and is really good for your body. But the first thing that you need to focus on is to start small. Small changes are a lot easier to stick with than drastic ones. That's why you can start off with giving up drinking regular soda or reducing the size of the portions that you eat. When you have that down, you can start making other changes like introducing healthier foods and exercise into your life. Second, make it a family affair. Ask your mom and dad to lend help and support. The goal is to make diet or lifestyle changes that will benefit the whole family. Studies show that teens who have the support of their families tend to have much better results. Also make sure to schedule regular meals and snacks. You can actually manage your hunger much better if you have predictable meals. Skipping meals may lead to overeating at the next one. That's why I would suggest adding one or two healthy snacks in between your three quarters to help curb that appetite. Five servings of fruits and vegetables is not only a good idea to help you lose weight, but they'll help you feel full and keep your heart and the rest of your body super duper healthy. My next tip is to stop eating when you're full. Pay attention when you eat and stop when you are comfortably full because sometimes it's much better to eat slowly because the brain usually takes on average 20 minutes to process all the you know internal things and get the message that you are actually full. Try not to eat when you're upset or bored. Find something else to do instead. Maybe like do some homework or color or talk to a friend, take a hot bath take a shower, go for a walk. Basically just entertain yourself with something that is not food. Watch your drinks. It's unbelievable how many calories are in the sodas and fruit juices and other juices, even smoothie, like store-bought smoothies have so much sugar in them, it's crazy. That's why cutting all that out and focusing on either something plain like tea or making trying to make it at home would be a much better idea than buying it at a store for example this is a green smoothie that i bought at a store it's a very popular brand and supposedly really good for you but let's take a look at nutritional facts where are they okay right here it says that it's 100 percent juice but it's really not it's not 100 percent this one small bottle contains 170 calories and now let's find the amount of sugars that's in it. There it is. Sugars. 35 grams. Total sugars. And if you ask me, it's a lot of sugar. Like this tiny bottle, I mean, it looks cute and all, and you might think that it's a healthy option, but if you really look into it, this is nothing better than a fruit juice bought at a store. Like everything bought at a store, I mean, okay, so like, I mean, I bought this thing at a store also, but you know, it's like kind of like green and it says 
100% juice, blah, blah, blah. Like it has like some veggies in it. So you might think that it's good for you. But honestly, it's nothing better than any other fruit juice than you'll find at a store. And just to put it into perspective, 35 grams of sugar equals almost 9 teaspoons of sugar. 9 teaspoons. Just think about it. I honestly just keep it in my fridge as an emergency drink just in case I run out of my vegetables because I do like to juice my own juices, my own vegetables. But on those days when I run out of them or something, this will do the trick. Choosing non-fat or low-fat milk would also be a good idea. Would you like some extra tips? Try to eat your food with one chopstick. Hmm, I wonder how that would go. <laughs> Okay, in all seriousness, I was just checking if you were still with me, but how yummy are these sushi though? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm getting hungry. Let's get back to the video. Please, please, please don't do fat diets. It is never a good idea to trade real meals for shakes or to give up entire food groups in hopes to lose weight. We all need a variety of foods to stay healthy and to get all the nutrients that our body needs. Also, do not fall into the trap of diet pills, even the herbal ones. Because not only that they can be dangerous to your health, but also there is no real evidence that they keep the weight off long term. Do not tell yourself that you will never eat your absolutely favorite peanut butter, chocolate ice cream with caramel and sprinkles on top. By the way, random question of the day, what is your favorite ice cream? Mine is chocolate chip cookie dough. What's yours? I want to know. Post in the comments down below. And the reason you want to do that is because making all treats forbidden will for sure make you want them even more. The key to a long-term success is making healthy choices most of the time. So if you want to have that piece of cake at a party, go for it. Just make sure to munch on carrots more than the chips to balance it out. You may find that you don't need to cut the calories as much as you need to get off your behind. And don't get stuck thinking that you need to join a team sport or an aerobic class to get exercise. You can do a variety of activities like hiking, cycling, or dancing until you find the one that you really enjoy. And if you really don't like any of those things, you can try to find activity in your daily life like walking to school or taking the stairs instead of the elevator. Walk the dog, help your parents in the garden, or walk around the house simply. You know, the goal should be to get at least 60 minutes of activity during the day, and it literally could be anything. Just simply walking and listening to your favorite music or a podcast or something, or not, maybe even nothing, just if you want to walk around and clear your head, that works too. That is absolutely my favorite activity to do, and it clears your head, and it's just wonderful. Everyone has to start somewhere, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with starting with simply just walking a few minutes a day, and then increasing your level of activity as you go. Have you ever noticed how women's magazines are always like this? In one article, they tell us how beautiful we all are. The next one, they give us tips on how to lose weight fast. And then they throw us a curveball with a cake recipe. I think it's a conspiracy. <laughs> okay, now let's get back to what we were talking about. So you wanted to have one cracker with some spray cheese on it. And the next thing you know, the box of crackers is empty and the can is spraying air. Question. What do you do? What do you usually do? Comment down below, let me know. What is your usual behavior when that happens? Would you like to know my suggestion about it? I'm assuming your answer is yes, so here's what I have to say about it. Drink some water, brush your teeth, and move on. You have to realize, everyone who's ever tried to lose weight found it challenging, so when you slip up, the best idea is to get right back on track and don't look back. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it some love by clicking the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. I would love to welcome you. I come out with three videos a week, all in the topic of health and fitness to keep you on track to a healthier and slimmer you. So I wouldn't want you to miss out on them, so please make sure to hit that red subscribe button. Stay healthy, stay fit, stay confident, and I will see you in my next video.